Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today I've got a real treat for you. Morgana's going to show you how she painted this beautiful wilderness scene. We have this gorgeous flight of geese overhead and a wonderfully atmospheric sky and the impressions of trees and bushes and foliage below created very loosely, wet in wet, all finished off with a tiny sprinkle of salt into the damp wash at the end to create these atmospheric gorgeous effects. Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'm here with a video demonstrating how to paint this lovely autumnal wilderness scene with a clouded sky, bright gleams of sunlight, soft autumnal greenery and a flight of beautiful geese. I'm beginning today with a blank piece of watercolour paper. This is Milford brand cotton paper size a quarter imperial. I'm wetting it all over before I begin the painting, then leaving the water to sink in for roughly 30 seconds before I begin to add colour. The sky today is made up of only two colours, raw sienna and Payne's grey. The raw sienna is the lightest colour, so I'm putting that down first using a flat brush and then adding the diluted Payne's Grey all around it to create this beautiful wet and wet sky with lots of soft diffusion between the colours. While the paper is still wet, I'm going to add the foreground. I wanted a tangle of mellow autumn colours for this painting, so I'll be using burnt umber, light red, sepia, sap green and perylene green for this area of the painting. The trick here is to use lovely rich paint to keep your brush strokes nice and light and loose and to allow the colours to move and flow together using the water that's already on the paper. Thank you. 
Lastly, for this stage, I'm going to add a sprinkle of salt to create some simple pale blooms. Regular table salt is all you need to create this effect. Once everything has fully dried and you've brushed away any remaining salt, it's time to add some geese. To find the best place to add these birds into the sky, I used this overlay technique. Using tracing paper, I have here an outline of a few lovely geese that I took from a previous painting that I did. As you can see, this is a really handy way to figure out exactly where and how to position something in a painting without having to use trial and error. I'm happy with how they look here, so with the magic of video editing, <laughs> you can see that I sketched these geese in roughly the same formation onto the paper just using HB pencil, which is going to make it so much easier for me to paint these birds without worrying about their various positions. For the geese, I'm using sepia to paint the dark areas you see here, such as the wings and the neck, and a little raw sienna and some white gouache mixed to paint their paler bellies. These are Canada geese, as you can see from their characteristic colouring, but uh, if there is another type of bird you'd prefer to put in the sky, here I think this is an opportunity to use your creativity to add any kind of bird that you like. Once the geese are finished, the painting is almost complete. It just needs some finishing touches. I'm using sap green to add a tiny bit of grassy detail across the foreground, being careful not to add too much or get carried away, as I really want those geese and that lovely glowing sky to be the star of the show in this painting.
here we are with the finished painting. Thank you everybody for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed this demo and might consider giving this lovely seasonal painting a try yourself. If you would like to see some more videos from me, you can always sign up for my Patreon page by clicking on the link shared below, where I have plenty more video tutorials like this one available. But that's all from me today, so I wish you all a wonderful day and very happy painting.